The closure of AAP is imminent. That's Australian Associated Press. I'm joined now by Jenna Price, a Fairfax columnist and senior lecturer in the journalism program at the University of Technology, Sydney. Jenna Price, thanks for joining us. Um, now, AAP set to close. This is the outcome of the meeting today. Is that what you expected the outcome to Absolutely. be? Absolutely. When you get two major shareholders saying they're pulling their money, there's not many options. And they were already having experiencing a bit of financial trouble. And that was key that it was uh, not just one shareholder wasn't it? Yeah well I think uh, if you're losing two yeah. and they're both funding you a lot you know that's the end of the road really. Is the whole service gone or will parts of it be salvageable? Well I still am not sure what's going to happen with the Facebook fact checking which mm -hmm. is a really valuable service and my goodness does Facebook need it. Yeah. I don't know whether that's going but I understand everything else is going and 180 jobs are going. And this is happening quickly too, it's by the end of June. Uh, by the end of June and then I think um, I think it might be the photographic service that's closing in August. Yeah, yeah, right. And now you've had former students yeah, uh, go and work really for AAP. Yeah, beautiful students go and work for AAP and, you know, we do a good job of training them at university but that on-the-job training that AAP offered without um, hesitation. So every year they would take cadets. Mm. Every year they would take editorial assistants and they'd take 8, 10, 12, 16. And those people would get really brilliant training, including shorthand. Hardly yes. anyone gets uh, shorthand now. And they would cycle through a whole lot of different things. So they would be doing horse racing, they'd be doing greyhounds, they'd be doing um, fi the finance desk, they'd be going to sport. And Emma Kemp, um, who's now um, a desk editor at the Sydney Morning Herald, says that she really loved going to those A-League games in Outer Whoop Whoop. Mm -hmm. You know, this was way before people really covered the A-League on a regular basis. And I reckon that kind of reporting very broadly and accurately across a wide range of opportunities, that's all going to disappear. And Frances really remembers fondly going on the finance desk because it was something that she didn't know anything about. Yeah, I've worked alongside AAP journalists and yeah, they're very quick and very accurate that was needed. Um, have you been able to speak to any of those uh, former students that have worked at AAP and their reaction to this? Well, in fact, I spoke to Frances Mao, who's now at the BBC, and Emma Kemp, now at the Herald, both today. And they're devastated, you know, they've got friends there, they have long-standing connections. They also learnt the basic on-the-ground um, experience of their craft, which is fantastic. And, I mean, it's interesting to me, they loved getting new people in as well. They'd get new trainees and they'd be able to pass on what they'd learned. Yeah. So that kind of very fast, accurate um, and terribly prolific. I mean, I, I'd be interested to see what has to happen to work intensification at the other publications when AAP disappears. Mm. Now, could some of the staff be redeployed by the likes of Nine? Well, I noticed that today uh, the MEAA, which is the union that represents the journalists at AAP and all journalists, um, they're saying that 30 to 50 jobs will then be moved to Nine and News. So that's really good. However, that's still 130 people who are out of work. And this comes, I mean, the company was started 85 years ago. Um, tell us about what is going to be lost and, and how that's going to be felt once the doors are closed at the end of June. I mean, it's really interesting when you look at a lot of major metropolitan papers and even the smaller regional ones, you see that their home pages have a lot of AAP copies. Mm -hmm. So just in terms of what will be lost, all those slots on the home page, are they going to be filled by the reporters who are now working at those organisations? I don't know whether it's possible that um, the journalists who are employed in, in those publications can work any harder than they already do. Um, so that's going to be lost. The style of reporting that, that AAP does will be lost. So that extremely um, fast, accurate, shorthand style of reporting what went in in a courtroom, that's all going to be gone. I think that's a real loss. Reporting sport across a range of sports, so not just the major sports, not just the ones, the big games, it'll be every tiny thing, all that's going to be gone. So it's, I think it's a really big loss to the community. Mm -hmm. Jenna Price from the University of Technology, Sydney, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me.